Hi, welcome to my channel. This channel consists of three categories of videos on worship songs. Thank you, Jesus, for your love to me. Engkau ada bersamaku. Di setiap musim hidupku. On sermons, and they are short and inspiring messages. How many of you need a miracle and healing from Jesus today? And lastly, on a miracle healing. Do like and subscribe to my channel link so that you'll be able to receive notification from YouTube on my latest videos and update. Jesus bless you. Hello fellow Christians. My message for today is Forgive and forget the Christian way. Yes, forgiving and forgetting. I have a few questions for you. Question number one. Have you been offended before? Question number two. Has someone you trusted stabbed you in your back? Question three. Has your spouse betrayed you? Unfaithful to you? Question number four. Have your children greatly disappointed you? And my last question is, are you holding on to something that you can't forgive and forget? Let me share three familiar scenarios with you. Scenario 1. It is about a young enthusiastic Christian who was hurt and let down by a church leader and she stopped serving altogether and just attended Sunday services just for the sake of being a Christian. Scenario 2 This is about a fellow Christian that you trusted and get along well. But one day, he or she betrayed you out of jealousy and envy and that makes you watchful and start to slow down your friendship with other Christians. Scenario 3. You face a lot of persecution when you first decided to be a Christian either from your family members or your relatives or close friends and neighbours. They mock you and even distance themselves from you. And you felt so hurt and so alone. Were you able to forgive and forget? Or do these scenarios still come to your mind once in a while? Are there still hurts and bitterness when you recall those unpleasant incidents? Has the word revenge, tit for tat, you hurt me, I hurt you back, ever crossed your mind? Someone once said, I can forgive, but I cannot forget. Now let's see what God said in the Bible concerning forgiving and forgetting. Romans chapter 12, verse 17 to 21. The Apostle Paul said in verse 17, Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. And in verse 18, Paul added, If it is possible, as much as depend on you, live peaceably with all 
man. And in verse 19, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Verse 20, Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. And lastly, in verse 21, Paul said, Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. God is saying that we are not to return evil with evil, for vengeance is His. Amen. We are expected to continue to be kind to our enemy and those who hurt us when they suddenly have needs. I know it is easier said than done, but in so doing, fellow Christians, God says, you will heap coals of fire on his head. God is not saying by doing good, we will overcome the evil in them. But by doing good, you will overcome any evil desire in you to revenge or keep harboring bitterness towards them and thus fall into sins just like them. Heaping coals of fire on their head may mean that those who hurt, betrayed, and harm you will keep burning with guilt when you start to display love, forgiveness, and kindness to them in return, especially when they are in needs. Who knows, they may even repent out of guilty feelings. Yes, their burning guilt can only be taken away when they truly repent before God. Genesis chapters 37 to 50 tell us about the story of Joseph. There are many lessons we can learn from this on the importance of forgiving and forgetting. Number one, Joseph could have been a very bitter man when his brothers hated him and sold him as a slave to the Egyptians. Number two, his Egyptian master's wife, when she failed to seduce Joseph, accused Joseph of molesting her. Number three, an Egyptian official betrayed Joseph and left Joseph in prison. But friends, Joseph didn't show any bitterness towards them. God granted Joseph favor and exalted Joseph to a position just next to the Pharaoh. Many Christians today harbor bitterness and unforgiveness. And they go through physical, emotional, and spiritual breakdown. Remember, the longer we carry a grudge, the heavier we will fall spiritually. Do not let bitterness and unforgiveness destroy our Christian walk with Christ. So precious is the salvation that God has given to us. And we need friends to guard this salvation closely. Let me end my message by quoting for you from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to 15. 
And this is the New King James Version of the Holy Bible. In verse 12, the Apostle Paul said, Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering. And in verse 13, Bearing with one another, and forgiving one another, if anyone has a complaint against another. Even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. And in verse 14, Paul added, But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And lastly, in verse 15, And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let's say a big Amen to that. Amen. Hallelujah. May the peace of God be with you. God bless. Remember to like, subscribe and click the bell icons to receive my latest videos.